The good news. Individuals with heart disease and cancer today have better odds of surviving for longer than they did in decades past. The not so good news. Our ability to eliminate or delay disease has hardly improved. Diseases have become more chronic, but perhaps less progressive. Take cardiovascular disease, for example. Its prevalence in the U.S. has declined only half a percent since 1990, despite far more substantial reductions in its mortality rate. Meanwhile, the global prevalence has slightly increased. This combination, reduced mortality and stagnant prevalence, reflects a system geared well toward responding to disease, but not toward preventing disease in the first place. It is also reflected in the economic burden of rising healthcare costs. This is not only a more recent pattern. The incident of a first heart attack remained relatively stable between the 1960s and 1990s, even as mortality decreased. But it is becoming increasingly important. Where do we go from here? Only by integrating lifestyle change, especially nutrition, can we prevent chronic diseases before they develop. Elevating a decent disease response system into an exceptional healthcare system.